Disturbing scenes of pomp and celebration have emerged from Russia following President Vladimir Putin's formal announcement of the annexation of four regions of southern Ukraine. Kremlin officials are warning these regions will be protected by all of Russia's military might, including its nuclear arsenal. He was always going to show up, to claim these new territories which are not his, to declare to his people that Russia will be victorious in what he's pitched as an existential battle for the motherland. Раз, два, три. Ура! 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 And of course these crowds cheered him on. That's what they were here for. The fight in Ukraine has not been going that well for Vladimir Putin and his call for partial mobilization has shown significant cracks in the edifice of Russian patriotism. He needs this moment. He needs to try and tell his people that their fight is worth it. The day had all the pomp and ceremony of a formal process. Treaties signed, solemn talk of the right to self-determination and the UN Charter. But make no mistake, there is no legal basis to what Russia has done. I want the Kyiv authorities and their real masters in the West to hear me, so that everyone will remember it. People living in Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson and Zaporizhia have become our citizens forever. That's not how Ukraine sees it, or the West, which immediately slapped fresh sanctions on Putin's regime. But his invective, tirade against the West, is contagious. Patriotic Russians draped in their flag, proclaiming a kind of reworked Soviet Union, filled with a Cold War-style fury. He won't defeat us, won't defeat. We are one nation, for sure. Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainians, Shuvash, Mordovians, all of them are Russia, against you. We will defeat you. You will never win, not on your life. This is the protection of our national interests, the fight for our state's existence, its prosperity and greatness. And in Red Square, they cheered their commander-in-chief, a man who keeps raising the stakes in an ever more dangerous conflict. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.